It's been five months, hasn't it? Well, since then, me and my gang took over the city of Alabama. Now, we moved to Sunnyville in America. This is where the crypts are. I'll show you my inside here. As you can see, I got me Glock here. This is where the crypts here. This is our compound here. Parking lot. Meeting area. Another meeting area for the gang. Rooms, bedrooms for the gang. My room. <clears throat> My daughter sleeps here too. Mum and dad. Sister. Brother. Sister. Brother. There are more gang members. Upstairs. More gang members. So, yeah. This is my, my room here. Round room, kitchen, dinner table, bedroom, bedroom. Not much, then a bathroom. Not much either, but it would do. Lock it back up. Let's go out in the back and chill. Watch him and Kobe. Press play, have a joint for the day. Insane bad luck. Even an employee that had knocked this divot box off the shelf, his brother committed suicide, and then the employee later on committed suicide. I've had my face smashed into the projector box of the divot box by a machine force. Were you by yourself in the room? No, I was given a tour, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of the tour, I felt two hands behind me. I felt like something pushed me. My face hit the protective glass of the divot box. Have a blunt for the day. Wait, what's the I thought one of those, like, items moved. Huh? Have you seen this over here? No, what is this? 
that's like a it's shrine. shrine. Oh, oh! It is. Yes, you believe things here. It's known to haunt unless you an offering. People have their IDs here, Jesus. A book of the Divic? I've never heard of that before. Okay, so they, I think this is like a, a replica of what it was. That it is. is that a dead moth? Oh my god, it is. So they lined it with gold, so it would seal the Divic. What was so bad that they put all this effort into sealing something inside? Well, the thing with the Divic is it's supposed to be a wandering spirit that can't find its way to the afterlife. So in order to, like, find its way, it attaches itself to people. Two copper pennies, one stone. Tap. It said copper. Oh, Remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Copper. It's copper Sam. Yeah. Weird that it says Sam because it has a blonde lock of hair inside the Divic box. What? And a brunette lock of hair. No, black hair. And I just dyed my hair. A week ago. They say that the two offerings that they accept are either money or you have to put a lock of your hair. Should we do that? You have scissors? Yeah. Wait, but why would we give them our hair when last using like voodoo, witchcraft, and satanic rituals? I, mean, I have a couple dollars, honestly, that works. I think we should give our hair to the TV. We just agreed that that was not the good <laughs> idea. The yeah, for that. Why would we do that? It's obviously the prophecy that we're fulfilling. Sam's trying to get you his butt again. I think he is. Yeah, you're really trying to get attached here. It being surrounded by salt and leaves, like, do you really think that can help us? I feel like if something is powerful enough, I don't think the last is gonna yeah, help stop it, or I don't think so. I don't know if salt or anything will actually help. I don't know, it's an interesting concept. I wonder if people come back to leave stuff because they feel not okay. I was wondering about the same thing if they like have experiences so they feel like they come back. Do you see something? I thought I saw like a shadow, but I might. Light. It's hard just because there's so much glass in here. Like mm -hmm. it reflects. It's, reflects. so it's really hard to keep track of. Okay, so I want to know, like, how did they know that there was a spirit following them? That they had to do all of this? Oh my god. Stuff? Come here. Look in the top left. Do you see that? It would have been like through the glass. Yeah, right? it's gone now. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. Did you see it? It was like two eyes right there. But there's nothing in here with eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like it was in the box. Yeah, yeah. I just got chills. That's creepy. What was that? The camera. Oh my god. Was that the camera? Yeah, it was. <gasps> Wait, this is stuck to it. What is it? One of the offerings. It looks like it's <coughs> started again. Push it, which head to bed, drive my car to actually park my car here, lock my car up, which head to bed, wake up tomorrow for school. I'm gonna put my Glock in the fucking crib. I'm gonna put my Glock in my room. For school. Right. Unlock this crib. Unlock my crib. Hey boss. Hey boss. Hey guys. Lock it back up. This is my room as you can already tell. Unlock it. Close it. Head to bed. 
5 in the morning. Let's head to school. Close my door. Unlock my door. Walk it back up. Hey, Sam. Hey, Mum. Do I walk at school? Yeah, I will. Your dog does at school too? Yeah, I know. See ya. Let's go. Let's go around here. Shit, I forgot to put my gun back. Show me. I'll be right back when I put my gun. Actually, yeah, I'll be right back. Let's go to school. Let's get in my car. Head to school. You know. See boss. See ya boss. See ya. Unlock my car. Have a blunt for the day. Let's go to school. My two, my three sisters are at school. My dad, he's at work. Mum, stay here to walk off the gang. But you know. Let's head to school. And my brother's at school, of course, too. Smoke that board. I'll see y'all when I'm at school. See you then. Here we are. At the school. Go over here. Here we are. Walk it. First class for the day should be this class down here. Good morning, class. Today you have a new student. Introduce yourself. So, hey everyone. My name is my name is Jaden. I'm 15. I'm new to this school. So yeah, I'm gonna go sit down now. Class dismissed. Cool. My second class for the day should be. This class here. Come on, class. Sit down. Class dismissed. My last class into the afternoon should be. Where is my last class for the afternoon? Into the afternoon. I 
Quash, Quash. Good afternoon and good afternoon, Chippy. Here, this Quash here, so it was this Quash. Good morning, Quash. Sit down. Quash, okay, Quash, dismissed. Have fun that bike. Cool. Let's go to outside. <laughs> Let's go to, I don't know, somewhere. Smoke some weed, watch YouTube. And chill for now. Push pie. Did you hear what I said? Have a joint. Like us. They're just like all these jokesters. Dollar. Oh, literally right here. No way. Oh, oh, people offer. Wow. So you want us to offer a dollar to you? Oh, you scared oh, me. Oh, shit. Guess. Example. Yeah. Heavy. Flashlights, no rim pod. We really want to see you turn on one of our flashlights. If you could do that, we uh, we can clap for you. You want a round of applause? You just go up and touch one. Angry. Angry stones. The thing is about this specific box is I don't know if there's an actual entity attached to it. I think it just might be the bad luck energy, kind of like what the general manager was talking about, the bed, because it's like a cursed object. It might not have something actually inside because it's already been opened. Then it was released. So if we're trying to talk to a residual energy, it might not respond to us intellectually. But the fact that it's a dollar while you're standing over there. We want to prove to the world that you're here. The only way to prove that you're here is through our devices for us. Deal. If you can hear us right now, if you can understand what we're saying, you make us feel something, use any of our devices around here. Don't show us later, we want to see now. You cannot follow us home if you can hear me. Would you like us to give you an offering? You said dollar to us before. Maybe you want something more personal like a lock of hair. Why do I swear up here? I actually went to the casino and I got us all the Oh, was thank you. <laughs> So all the entities in this house, this is for you. You're not welcome to follow us home. Retweet. Can you see it? No. You can't see it. They're, they're How much did you take off? Not that much. They're messing with you. We are offering our hair to the most haunted object in the world. Why are we doing this? You suggest this is not my suggestion. Let's replay the clip. <laughs> I think we should give our hair to the ticket. Black hair and blonde hair. This is Zach Bacon's murderabilia room, and what's crazy is he has a lot of very, very rare artifacts, I guess you can call them, like Ted Bundy's murder kit. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, wait, why? Is that motion? Motion sensor? It could be. Holy shit. Ted Bundy's ski mask over here. Ted Bundy's glasses, he bought those for 50k. John Wayne Gacy, if you guys know that serial killer, he would, like, lure young men as a clown and then bury them underneath his house. This is definitely my favorite. Charles Manson exists. Charles Manson. We literally just went to West Virginia where he tried to go to prison. Yes. This is a terrifying painting. Because apparently, in his eyes, they rub cremated ashes of him. Now we are in the celebrity room, just like the murderabilia room. Is. There's a lot of rare artifacts where you're just like, how did you get this? But if you look over here, that is actually the chair that was right across from the bed of Michael Jackson when he died from the drug overdose. This is the most famous artifact that they have here. It's James Dean's axle of his car called Little Bastard. And apparently everybody that went near it or rode it, it's kind of like the divot box upstairs. They just experienced horrible luck, like they got cursed. Sure enough, James Dean was only 24 when he was racing it on the highway and went off the road and killed himself. So this is like the only verified piece of this car left. I love James Dean. And the first day the transaxle was on display, I could not stop crying. The second day I was in there and I said, good morning, James Dean. This cologne scent 
hit me. He texted my daughter and she looked up the kind of cologne that he wore. We went to the mall and smelled it. My blood ran cold. It's the same exact same. Wow. wow. Then my daughter was like, oh, it was him saying hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we're going to go see a chair that inspired the third Conjuring. suddenly started to move back violently, back and forth. In 1980, this family called them over, and they helped exorcise this demon out of a young child, which then inspired the movie The Conjuring 3. The devil made me do it. Oh, my God. We are back in The Conjuring. The day that I bought the devil's rocking chair, Lorraine Warren died. It all started in the 1980s when the Glassels moved into Boy, David. He kept seeing a man. Too bearded. Wrong dark, dark skin, like almost burnt, sunken black eyes. The man warned him, stop your renovations and do not move in. The little boy started seeing him in the bottom of a well outside their house. Yes. Imagine seeing an old man with black eyes in a well. Over time, this boy David started showing more and more signs, being demonically possessed. He would look up and it was no longer a little 11 year old boy. It wasn't David anymore. There was times when he would attack his mother. He actually levitated, had extreme strength, uh, terrible obscenities would come from him. Ed even believes that there was 43 demons trapped inside this one little boy's body. There was not one devil, there were 43 of them. David, while he's experiencing this exorcism, his sister's boyfriend kind of got fed up with him. So this guy, his name's Artie, ended up tormenting this demon, saying, get out of this little boy's body. He screamed at these devils. Mm -hmm. Take me on. Leave my little buddy alone. He yeah, got his wish. It allowed the demon, or demons, to jump from David's body into our party. Ended up murdering his own boss. His landlord. The first murder ever to be recorded in that town happened after this demon possession. And so when he went to court, he actually used, for the first time in U.S. history, demonic possession as his legal defense. Imagine the lawyer being like, really, dude? That's what I gotta work with? That is what the whole Conjuring movie is based on, and this chair was there to see it all. The rocking chair was going back and forth, and I heard the growling sounds and the pounding sounds. As soon as some people have walked in the room and seen the chair, they will instantly throw up, and mediums have reported that they have seen the beast sitting in the chair looking at them. Lorraine Warren and David Glaxel would physically see the beast sitting in the chair. It got so bad that Zach Bagans shut down this exhibit, which is the only one in the entire museum that he's had to shut down because of what's happening to the guests. I've seen people fall on pass out in here. This area in particular is one of our more active rooms. <laughs> I've been in David Box. I sleep in there before I stood in here alone for 10 minutes. I go back to the Conjuring basement alone before I stayed in here. I've never done it before. I've never touched it. I've never even seen anybody. Let's pause it. Head home. Chill at home until night, then head to bed. You know, then head to school, yo. <laughs> I guess I'll see y'all when I'm at home. I'm gonna go into my car, then drive home. Hey boss. Hey boss. Hey. Walk it back up. Chill here. Smoke a blonde. Push pie. It is behind sealed glass and no one is allowed to touch it or sit on it until tonight. Da, 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 da. So, guys, I was just talking to Zach on the phone. He said that if you want to, we're going to let you sit in the devil's rocking chair. Oh, oh my, my god. So, here's what you need to know about that, though. He's never allowed anyone to sit in it other than 
himself or the Ghost Adventures team. And the last time anybody even got close to it was Kevin Frazier from Entertainment Tonight. He had all kinds of back issues. He just got close to it. He didn't sit in. He didn't even touch it. Go near it. I don't let anybody do this. Do I don't want to touch it. No, I don't even want to go near it. This I is don't want to give anybody this opportunity. But wouldn't it be cool if something you felt no. something? No. I'm nervous about getting it out for you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because he wants to do it. That's if you guys want to do it. Nose goes. <laughs> This will be the first time anybody outside of the Ghost Adventures team has ever sat in it since it's been. Oh, funny. We, we have to. Can't that up. Oh my <laughs> god. That's going to make me tear up. <laughs> That's right, guys. For some reason, we got special permission from Zach himself saying that we can take this chair out of the glass container and sit on it. Dude, this is actually scary. It's like. Paranormal, it's legendary. He's never let anybody do this before, and he's letting us do it. Uh, do you know what could happen? I'm actually scared. This is messed up. In my opinion, this is scarier than being in the Conjuring house itself. The amount of stories we've heard and the amount of videos there are of people being carried out of stretchers because they'd see this chair, and you're going to sit in it. Here we go. This is what Zach told me he wanted to do. He's going to let you guys be the first to ever sit in the Devil's Rocking Chair. No one outside of Zach or the Ghost Adventures team has ever sat in this chair. You guys will be the first. Oh, oh my yes. God. Dude, my heart is racing right now. Anybody that has ever tried to sit in the Devil's Rocking Chair had severe back problems. Not flex 
to my leg since I sat down. I'm just like very stiff right here. I don't, I don't get nervous on objects, but this is very fucking weird. I, but I can't like unflex my legs. Are you being serious? Yeah, no, it's just like super fucking weird. Now I can. I literally just felt like I ran like five miles. Like that's how stiff my legs were for a few seconds. I kind of just want to sit for like a second, but I don't want to sit while we do any equipment. Okay, then you want to sit right now? I just want to sit real quick. Wait. Beating, I feel nauseous. I feel like this is a big mistake. Oh my god, I almost thought I was gonna fall over like this. Let's pause that. Head to bed. Wake up in the morning. Head to school, yo. <laughs> I lock my door. Lock it back up. Close. Head to bed. Five in the morning. Let's head to school. Unlock it. Lock it back up. Head to school, yo. Lock my car. Lay up a bun for the day. There it is, there's the school. <coughs> Park my car. Here. Walk it.
first cross for day should be down here. Good morning, cross. Cross dismissed. My second cross for the day should be over here. Good morning, class. Class dismissed. Second class for the day should be here. Good morning, class. Class dismissed. Cool. My last class for the day should be here. Good morning, class. Okay, cross dismissed. Have fun at bike. Cool. Let's go chill somewhere for the day. Gang, gang, gang. Smoke some weed for the day and go chill somewhere. Not nowhere, but somewhere. Let's chill. Over here. Here we do. Smoke a bond. Is that weird? Oh, it's okay. Is your arms? <laughs> I got like this chill, but it was just in my head. Like it didn't go down my spine, it was just like a tingling around like my temples. How do you think this compares to the other places? This is by far the worst, but also it's just so damn stuffy in here. It's like you can't tell if you're just in a cramped little closet space or if it's something that's actually affecting you. I was gonna say, like like you were saying earlier, it might just be like your, your head. Yeah, it could you know? be. Am I playing tricks on you type thing? Yeah, I'm done. And I don't want to do that anymore. Does anybody else want to sit in? <sighs> Stas? I think you guys should. No, thank you. I really don't think you guys should. Me? You want to take a stab at it? Leave it to the, uh, to the pros here. Okay. <laughs> the second that Colby, you sat down, it felt like all of the energy went from, like, surrounding to, like, just straight in front of me. And the only difference that I could think of, because, like, you and Sam were both in the room at the same time, is that the second time you went in with the cross. I wouldn't have, like, brought it up, except for when you came out, it went back to, like, not feeling so focused in that room. Here. This is called the SS Method Spirit Box Session, where I am completely sensory deprived, meaning I will not be able to hear you, I will not be able to see you, and I will be exclusively in that chair. You guys can ask questions, and whatever I repeat back to you will be authentically answered, because obviously what you say can't persuade me to say anything different. I guess the goal here is to see if there's still that energy of Barney and David and Edna and Warren. Okay, if you feel weird at all, I'll just take it off. Okay. And I'll set a timer. If I get possessed, then uh, still keep following the YouTube channel because it'll get even better. Oh my god, you're sleeping on the couch. Dang it. We learned that the Estes method works the best in a rocking chair. Just. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. I'm just saying. If you can find a rocking chair that's even better, what are the odds? I did not even remember. So just try to relax, lean back, and just forget where you are. How am I going to forget where I am? You have to try to focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Canceling headphones. Oh, that is so loud. What was mine before we even put it on? Here we go. Charles, mom. Okay, he's down under. Look. Where do you want us to look? Is there anything here with us? Speaking. Are you speaking with us? Who are you? Have you been trapped Damn here? It. Have you been trapped here for a long time? It lives here. Does that mean you don't want to leave? Are you not trapped? Is this your home? Can I give you a little advice? No fucking way. It's a die. Bye. Why? No, why? Do you want us to leave? Bad. Why'd you say that about 
the advice? Because I keep hearing, like, something talking. Like, I wish I had a pad of paper right now. What's the advice you want to give us? This one. Is there someone you want to speak to in particular? Fourteen. Do you remember who Lorraine and Ed Warren are? His legs are spazzy when I can watch it. Yeah, they are. My camera just went, Hell. like, full battery to, like, four minutes left remaining. So we actually gonna have to... Like quit this soon, yeah. Do you remember David? Losing him. Losing him. Uh, losing no him fucking him. way. Do you remember who you... you? Do you remember who you went to instead? He was a little bit older, if you remember. Can you give us that name? Who was the person you went to after David? Stop it. Do you want us to stop asking you questions? Do you not like us saying that name? Morrison.